Okay, been asked, will the cokes be dealt with? Will the cokes be dealt with? I'm gonna do a different deck, see if I can do a running reading with this, how this works out. See if I can do a running reading with this Apocalypto deck. <laughs> or Apocalypsis. Is it Apocalypto or Apocalypsis? I think it, no, I think it's Apocalypsis. <laughs> they are an apocalypse, I tell you. The Koch brothers are so bad. Will the Koch brothers be dealt with? Underneath of it all, we have Queen of Swords. Yeah, this is a emotional issue with a lot of people that they're just, you know, the Koch brothers have been so strong and just so um, putting so much crap out there for so long. <clears throat> Spinning it. I like the spinning wheel here. They're just, you know, spinning things, spinning things, spinning things towards the Federalists, towards a deregulation, towards, you know, strong arming, strong arming all these things. Um, and we've had enough of it. Okay, we're looking for, this is interesting, <laughs> balance. <clears throat> oh, this is a great card of balance, juggling stuff. This is coming out of here is like the linga, which is the zero point balance, okay? And we've got like Shakti up here trying to juggle everything. <laughs> Here's the absolute and, you know, we have uh, the manifest um, manifestation over here just juggling and for all it's worth. But make no mistake, you know, underneath of all of this dualistic is the non-dual. Okay, that's what that is. The non-dual is the, the primary. Okay, so underneath all the juggling and all the nonsense that the Koch brothers are doing, we do have, you know, that divine is. It's somewhere in there, although we are not seeing it in their actions, okay? Next, we have the moon. Yeah, they've just stirred up all sorts of illusion and fears and drama, you know, and just pulling things like the moon, uh, gravity, pulling things in their direction. <clears throat> and this is amping up the fear of people because of the, the things that they're doing, the Federalist Society, and, and just infiltrating all this stuff with their nonsense. Okay, next we have Two of Wands. You know, they, they've been putting that energy out and drawing in others into it. Okay. Next we have the Emperor. Okay. So we'll have to see is if the emperor is that they have been emperor and in this strength or if somebody is coming up that's going to have some strength to counteract what they're doing. So let's see what cards are following. We have the chariot. So things are going forward. And in this chariot, it looks like, uh, you know, that this one is in control of it. They've got control of how this is going forward. Okay. Next, we have the Six of Pentacles. Okay. This is like being, um, you know, satisfied with with what one has, being satisfied in 
I like that. Sitting in the lap of Buddha, you know that you have enough. You have enough. Next, we have the Princess of Swords. Okay. So again, more is going to rise up. More people are going to speak out about this. Start uh, putting that, um, talking about it, getting it known. More internal truth about that is going to rise up as well. Then we have the judgment. Okay. The judgment will be coming up with that. After that, we have loss. Okay, we've got judgment, we've got loss, and we have got the wheel, the karmic wheel. So with this, the judgment, the loss, the karmic wheel, I would say that, yeah, somebody is going, the emperor in this case is somebody rising up to confront this ideology of the Koch brothers and what they're doing, okay, to move things forward, to move things forward, to say, you know, really, they have enough. They have, they have gotten enough. You know, we need to stand up. We need to you know, fight this. We need to, within the center of our being, we need to come together and get the truth of this, get this out there. Again, judgment. This could also be this, um, truth card could also be House, Senate, more women rising up, more women that are in there that are looking at that. That dynamic could also be this that's coming in, that's making judgment, that's going to say it's time for them to lose the the things that they're putting out there because the the wheel the wheel we're looking at this and we want to make things better karma card we need to make an, and i love this card for the the wheel that we need to really change and make our world better you know we need to take action against these ones that have been polluting polluters that have been strong arming, you know, that have been swaying this stuff, that have been taking our things and juggling with it, um, okay, that have been causing fears and illusion and just talking, I mean, that there's no global warming, all this illusion and drama they've been putting out, okay, and that the energy they've been putting out is to drag others into it to control the narrative. So it looks like, yeah, people are gonna start rising up, talking about it more, um, getting more involved with making these changes because we need to heal our environment. We need to heal our planet. We need to, you know, get rid of these um, fear-mongering, ego-based, for me, only and I don't give a rat's ass about anyone else. Okay, this dynamic, that dynamic needs to change and we can change it, but we need to get strong people in to do it. So it looks like, yeah, eventually the Koch brothers uh, will be taken down, mitigated. They will, you know, um, but we all need to do our part to do that. We, we need to look at all the things they've been infiltrating, start speaking out against it, and start making changes so that we can heal our environment and heal society from this illness that it's gotten, this illness of ego-driven, um, this ego-driven, um, what do I want to say? Ego-driven selfishness of greed. Okay. 
So I'm going to leave this here. But yes, there is hope going to rise up and start saying, okay, Koch brothers, you put enough of this spinning crap out there for way too long, and it's time for us to now take things back. Okay, so I'm going to leave this here. Thank you for your question.